the impact of 50,000 jobs in Baltimore is just beyond what you can imagine. So whatever it takes to get them here. Whatever it takes is wrapped in a tax incentive package Governor Hogan will soon roll out. It includes an unprecedented level of money and creative ideas all designed to entice Amazon to build its second headquarters in Baltimore. It's a, it's a multitude of things from different places, so a lot of it will be incentives on transportation uh, improvements and that we would have to make, um, you know, interchanges off 95, uh, light rail spurs. Some of the funding will come out of the state transportation budget. Other incentives in the form of grants, although the governor did not provide details. Certain grants, it would be tax incentives to say if you bring those 50,000 jobs to Baltimore we can do these types of things. The governor believes passing his More Jobs for Maryland Act 2.0 will help Amazon overlook concerns it may have. This would uh, give them uh, tax breaks for every single job they create. It could, it could waive all state taxes for up to 10 years. It could encourage uh, city tax abatement. 11 News filed eight Public Information Act requests with various Baltimore city and state agencies seeking a copy of the city-state's bid to Amazon. We were told the only copy is with Sagamore Development, a private company, which is excluded from the Public Information Act. Sagamore did not respond to our request. But the details the governor is now providing reveal how serious leaders are in winning the sweepstakes. And we believe, um, you know, and we're in, uh, keeping our fingers crossed, but we're working as hard as we can together with the city again. We believe we're going to be on the short list. Well, the governor says he believed that Baltimore would be on the short list. That was due to come out a couple of weeks ago, but it hasn't. Now, Amazon initially said that they would make a decision by April. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.